was thinking about Freak Fit, how, when I should start it, and then w- you're on the weekly call, and you tell me to come over here and tell them that this that this weekend on Saturday we're, I'm going to be leading a free workout. So I went on there and I talked for maybe 30 seconds just saying that I'm going to be leading a free workout this Saturday. And it was just an opportunity that I took. And that's like the first stepping stones of how I started Freak Fit. Like, so let me break, break, break it all down for you. I ain't never giving up. I ain't never you know I'm going to take, take, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about you. I ain't never so let me break, 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 break it all down for you. I ain't never giving up. I ain't never you know I'm going to take, take, taking that crown from you. I Welcome to a new episode of Breaking the Cycle Podcast. All right, here we go. Parents, do you take action in your life? And do you help your kids take action in their lives? And kids, do you know how to take action on your own? If not, you definitely need to watch this episode. Jeez, I'm going to replay that intro you just did tomorrow morning to get your ass out of bed. I'm just going to put that on a big ass speaker to wake your ass up. I want to see you. I want to see you taking some of that action up there in the morning. <laughs> All right. Breaking the Cycle is a podcast on how to be a positive male role model and lead your freak family by breaking the cycle and changing the trajectory of your family tree so that you become the type of man your son would want to become and the type of man your daughter would one day want to marry. These are the types of conversations you should be having with your kids so that they learn to think for themselves and are not afraid to be themselves when they eventually are confronted with these life situations so they are not in shock and have an idea on how to approach it. Was that too mumbly? Something like that. I'll, I'll take it. I'll too take squeaky. it. So it's always too squeaky for Midge. But so we're going to pick up on part four. Part four part of the four decaf, of the decaf series. series, which is decaf, discipline, energy, confidence, action, freak. We're on the action segment. It's five pillars that we rate ourselves on every day and every week and every year in our family. And we're breaking them down, what they actually mean to us and, and give examples and stories to them. So we're on the A of the decaf. The, you've, the previous episodes before this, you saw us do the on discipline, on energy, on confidence. And if you have the discipline and energy as your foundation, it gives you the confidence to take action. So you don't have to worry about anything. You could just go and attack. And a- be your own freak self. That's the last one. But today that's, is to that's take- That's the last. That, that's, that'll be the next episode. But just to take action. To att- it, could, it could also even be attack. Like attack, action, attack, whatever you want. It gives you the- Same thing. The discipline and energy gives you the confidence. So we're going to break that down today. But I have a little issue because breaking the cycle, we, we release- once or twice a month, we release episodes on this. This is not a weekly thing like my own personal show or mommy's personal show. So we haven't done this in a, in a little while. We, we have space in between. So I have a problem here. What's your problem? I have a, a bunch of great jokes for this episode. Usually you nice. ask me jokes and I have to figure them out. So I got some awesome jokes for you guys today. If Excited? You've been watching, Same. If you've been watching the latest episodes, you know that recently the tables have turned and he's asking us jokes now too. But here's a problem. Usually I'll prepare like the day before. So I prepared these like two and a half, three weeks ago. Yeah, and? And I never write down the answers to the joke because I have my book open here and I don't want you to be able to see the answers while we're doing this because you'll be cheat. cheating. freaking lutely I know how oh. you roll, Midge. So I don't have the answers written down. I wrote these like three, three weeks like, ago. You could have like wrote it in your computer or something on like a file. And so I have about 10 jokes here, but I don't know the answer for... I'm, I could maybe figure out one of them. That's how... I, and I don't even, and some of them we might have even already done. So who wants to who wants to hear a joke? Me. If we did this one already, I, we might have been done. Well, I'll already. try to guess it, and whoever guesses it first gets a point. It's hey, like it's like right. free for Wait, all. Wait, hold on. Let I, me tell you something. Don't scream into the mic. I know. Mic. Jeez. It's a little loud. It's loud. These these things pick it up. You don't have to be like it's not a snow cone. All right. What's a snow cone? I don't know. All right. Who wants to hear a joke? Me. Before we get into it's the like action. a free for all. So whoever gets it right gets it. All right. I can be cracked, told, an egg. made, you're out of the game. Remember, if you answer, you can answer before, you get extra points before I finish it. But if you're wrong, you're out. You don't have a chance to even ask. So It's me and daddy. Can I hear it for him? What? No. You're out. You cannot speak. You cannot answer. A, if you want to. You yeah, cannot hint. Because last time I did one on egg and it was something about that. But that, see, I tricked your ass. And this is actually the only one that can I know the answer to. Can you please say it over again? I can be cracked. Told, made, or played. Ten seconds, sucker. 
I'm trying to guess it without. Oh, now I'm going to get some revenge on you. Ten. Nine. A story? Eight. No. Seven. Well, not, you know not a bad guess. guess. That's what I know. Because you could like play story Six. mode in like GTA and stuff. We're not GTA. What GTA. are you talking about? Five. Four. You hor- You have horrible stalling skills. Wait, can you please say it one more time? Oh, sure. Just one more time. Oh I my god, two seconds left. I, I had really, to give you the... I couldn't really understand it. I can be cracked. Told. Slowly, slowly. I can be cracked. Told. Told made, as in like saying something? Told, made, or played. I have the same joke Shush. Right here. Stop. You're not allowed to talk. You already gonged out. You have ten, you're ten, you have two seconds left. You have ten seconds. All right. You hit the button, you fail. I wish I hit I should get the satisfaction of doing that for you for once. I already, I already did it. Did it for yourself. Self-gonging. It's All right. very hard. Do you want a hint or you give up? Hint. Never give up. We're doing it right now. I'm doing it right now. Speaking? Oh, man. One no. more hint. Anyone got it out there? Who's got the answer out there? Pause this before I do, the, before I do it and see if you can come up with the answer without Recording? Googling it, suckers. Reading. You can oh. crack a read. You can crack. You can told reading. You can made reading. You could played reading. No. I searched it up. I know what it is. We'll stop searching it up. All right. You fail even at the, but with the hint. I'm literally doing it right now to you. Yes. Asking a question. Oh, my God. What are we doing? Podcasting. Oh, my, oh my God. God. I can't even get. If I, if I give you any more hints, I'll actually be spelling the word out for you. I'm doing it right now. It's something that I asked if anyone wanted to hear right now. Joking. A joke. A Uh, joke can be cracked, told, made, or played. You could play a joke with someone. You could crack a joke. You could tell a joke. You can make a joke. Yeah, you get a super, super bomb. All right, let's get into the show. Yeah, let's get into the show. Into action. Action is one of our big words that we attack every freaking day. And so let's start with Midge. After actually, maybe your brain just got fried like that cracked egg. We should brain fried. What, what egg? It? Remember the thing on the this is your brain, this is your brain on drugs. The oh, egg, yeah. the cracked in the frying pan. This is your brain. This is your brain on drugs. I just said that. And but the, the, it's very funny. When <laughs> and you, you saw it. And the wh- egg. Where did we see it? Breaking, Breaking Bad. Bad. You guys, you guys watch Breaking Bad? That's not a kid show. I mean, fixing good. Fixing good. Fixing Baking good. Bad. All right, Tyson. What? You said me. I know, but you, we said you needed to. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm good. Tyson, I'm what good. is your thoughts or definition about action, being an action taker? What does it mean to you to, to be a man of action? What action, what action means to me is like not procrastinating. And t- if you see an opportunity to take it and not like waste any time and finish something, like as we're recording this, there's this thing that we call vacation weeks, which is basically not a week off, but you don't have to do as much work or you just have to do like the fundamentals and the basics. And you stay up as late as you want. You sleep in a little bit. Yeah. So we got this whole long list about 10 days before. And today, as we're recording it, this is the last day before we need to get everything done. And we got this like whole big list. And it ain't that big, sucker. I can show you. I could make you a big list if you no, want. No, please don't make I can me. accommodate you. Please don't make me a big girl you, list. You you can't add stuff to the list after the list has been created. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's a illegal. Rule. This is not a democracy. The rules can change at any moment. Did I even say that, that the rules could change? Or I said something no. like that. Yeah, no, you, you never said that. All right, go. You never said that. So there's a bunch of things on there, including my business, finishing it up and wrapping it up, Freak Fit which is a lifestyle online coaching, pro- fitness and nutrition online coaching program for your kids, which you can sign up now with, in the link in the description. So that was one thing on the list. And today is the last day. And since I finally got some like pressure on me that I can finally wrap it up and do it. And I'm on the brink of finishing Because it you right are now. Tyson, otherwise known as the Prince of Procrastination. Yes. All right. So that's what it it's is. also known as GD and Garbage the- Disposal. Yeah, he is willing to shovel down, eat anything. He will just shovel it down. He will take your not leftovers. Technically, like, not technically. If, if I don't like something, I mean the then good I stuff. But if not it, everything, like my grandma. But he'll eat every snitches end up in ditches. Not man. saying any names, just grandma. <laughs> grandma. I have three grandmas. All right, Midge, what's action mean to you? Wait, I have something to say about that. So Tyson said, like it means like if you see a good opportunity that you've maybe been waiting for, or you see it and you're like, oh, this is perfect to take it. 
but that doesn't mean to rush it. It means to be decisive, but like smart and being decisive. Like think about the other things that could happen if you take this opportunity, but maybe it doesn't work out or even if it does work out, some things that wouldn't like really work. So you have to not rush it and still like actually think about making the decision before just doing it. That's what I had to say about that. Oof, this is like too, I got to play that back and listen to it myself. That shit was too deep even for my brain. They should have a, like a bomb sound, you know? Boom. Didn't we have to say like stories for like our action? Like stories? You don't have to do anything. Did I, I don't know. Did anyone ask you about that? I just asked you what action means to you. Action means to me to not like procrastinate and like if if you want have been waiting to do something for a really long time or just a little while doesn't need to be in your business it could be in anything you, you've just been waiting for like some opportunity or some specific thing to come to you and you see that it's right there within reach that you can like like that you actually take action on it and you don't procrastinate because if you procrastinate then you might miss the chance so i'm gonna record all this shit and play it back for you throughout the day definitely like when when the when the btc show starts and the mics are our mics are hot and the headphones are on and the camera's rolling Miz turns into like this like high level scholar like teaching us shit that I I have a hard time even keeping up with we it. It's, were, it's literally the, above my own head. Remember how we were reviewing the Stan uh, the Stanford University dictionary or whatever? You may not say American. You can only say U.S. citizen. Why did you just say it just now? Did what? we even ever do? Oh, that? Oh, because I said scholars or whatever. Did we? Yeah, we did it? on the old live videos. We did it. We never did it on a. On a, that's upcoming on, in the next never done a podcast we did on like a live video way back way way back old in the old days all right so to me action and, I, and i've done entire episodes on decaf and on action and attacking and kill and all that stuff but it's just to not sit like it's the same thing you're saying just have my own way of saying it to not just sit around to push yourself and pressure yourself to motivate yourself but also that's why it comes after energy energy is before that I am breathing <laughs> like Darth Vader and Porky Pig. Who's Porky Pig? Who's <laughs> Porky Pig? I don't know. He's not a cartoon character. No. Peppa Pig? No, there's a Porky Pig. Who's Porky Pig? Sounds like he's from Google that Simpsons. shit. I don't know. Pretty sure there's a thing, Porky Pig. Porky Pig. I swear I've never heard of that. There's something Porky Pig. I know that. I don't remember <laughs> what I don't remember what it was. You never heard of Porky Pig? I've never said that before. Oh, oh from uh, this Looney Tunes. Yeah, from Looney Tunes, Elmer Fudd, Porky Pig. Did he have like a gun? Or no, someone else had a gun. Anyway, all right. Okay. So it's to push yourself and pressure yourself, but also to push and pressure people around you, to force, to to help other people, push it and pressure them to take action, to motivate yourself, but also motivate other people, to not bullshit, not half-ass, as you already said, not procrastinate, not sit and wait, to get up off your ass and make shit happen. Like just when it comes time, that's why the word kill, kill is just boom, just go and get it, go and attack it, get it done, stop sitting and waiting. There's even a book called The Five Second Rule. I don't know. I don't, know if you need really? to, I don't know if you need to read it, but it's called The Five Second Rule. It's, it's Is it a, about like food? No. What are you talking about food for? Because the five talking second about, rule. Speaking of Porky Pig and you're worried about food. Well, because five second rule, you know, you drop. Oh, if you drop shit on the floor, you can eat it within five seconds. It's clean. No. This is a kid's show. Oh my God. Five second. <laughs> it means like when you're ready to do something, like if you're thinking, all right, I should record this video. But you're like, oh, but it's probably not the good lighting. I don't have the right clothes. I look like a doofus. I don't know what I'm going to talk about. I'm going to whatever. I'm not ready. You just count down. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Boom. It's just to make you just get it down. All right. Take a deep breath. Five, four, three, two, one. Go. And you just go and do it. It's an entire book that basically says that. So I just summed it up in about 12 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. 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 You know what? You should become the world's shortest book writer. There. I just recapped a book right there. All right, so that's what action means to me. Do you have? Do either of you have any good? And who wants to go first? Any good story? You don't even know what the question is. All right, you have to give good us stories. You no, know, you have to give us the mathematical equation for pi r squared. What is pi r squared? Stop picking on the microphone. What are you doing? Like, like who pushing. peels away at the styrofoam of the microphone? I don't. What's I wrong with you? Like no, you were sitting there picking it because you got nervous. And you heard All right, pi you r go squared first? You have because to you didn't hear the rest of the question, dollars. and you were saying you wanted to go. So. Tyson, go first. Oh, now all of a sudden you're being very no, courteous. No, you're going first. All right, who's got a story they want to share on action? Me. 
What you got? Me. Oh. <laughs> Gotta flip my book over. Where am I? Right there. Okay. So. Jesus, my stop. <laughs> stop. stop. Pressing your face up again. You're like this, like up against a window. Whoa. <laughs> oh, really? What the shit? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. This went downhill and dark and gruesome real fast. <laughs> We're all tomatoes. At least you're a tomato. Tomatoes? Yeah, because you're all red. Say your story. Okay. So, my... <laughs> God. <laughs> so, my... <laughs> Just look. A normal distance away from the okay. microphone and just talk normal. It will pick up your little squeaky voice. Go. Okay. <laughs> oh, equalizer is off. That's why. I thought there was like a weird echo. Look at that. It was off the whole oh, time. that's why. So it was so screechy. Go. Well, that sounds okay, a lot better. so my... Oh, that's my, much better. My... God, so, I knew something was off because her voice is like super extra, super duper squeaky. Go. Uh, so my story, you Our should apologies. be doing this all the time either way, but... I felt like this should be a story because I don't really do this as often, even though I should. So, when we were on an RV trip once, we were at the gas station, and there was this old lady trying to figure out how to use, like, the paper towel dispenser, and she was just, like, sitting there, like, like punching it or something. And I'm like... What the hell? And I'm like... So, you hold on. I'm trying to get... A, I'm trying to paint a picture here. So, you walked in a bathroom <laughs> at a rest stop at an RV station... And you saw an old lady. And some old lady was in there just beating the shit out of a paper towel dispenser. (laughs) She's like, I can't get this open. So I'm like, here, let me help you. Wait, why did you just use the same accent you use when you imitate your mother? Was this? No. Are you saying the old lady was your mother? (laughs) No. No, no, I didn't. I I was like, I can't get this open. Use the same voice you use. Use the same accent. I can't get this open. I can't get this open. If it dies, it dies. Go. I'll be back. Anyway, so the lady was like, I can't get this open. And she was like fiddling with it. And I'm like, here, let me help you. And the, you know, like some paper towel dispensers, you have to like twist the thing and then the paper towel comes out. That wasn't working. So I figured it was empty, but it wasn't it was just some sort of jam, something stuck. And she didn't realize that there was like three more in the bathroom. And it was like a tiny bathroom. And she didn't realize. So I'm like, maybe try one of the other ones. And <laughs> what was that? Story? And she still couldn't figure it out. So I'm like, here, let me help you again. And Jeez, again? Why don't you just do the freaking gunshots while you're at it? Let me help. Oh, you can't figure it out? Okay. Brrr. Jesus. That was, that was a very fascinating story about the rest stop bathrooms and some old lady getting in a fist fight with a paper towel dispenser. <laughs> That's your story for action. Anything else? I'm good. Tyson? All right. Tyson, you have a story for action? Do you have an ex- excellent story? Yeah, I do. Don't yes. say so, so loud, please. Huh? Go. What you got, Tyson? Wait, so. wait. Before we start, who wants a joke? Not right now. Aw. All right. What you got? Let's go. All right. When can't astronauts land on the moon? When? <laughs> when... <coughs> Oh, coughing is his new stalling technique. When wow, can't... congratulations, Steve. When they're in the ocean? What are you doing? I am answering. In... You two answer I mine. And I, I it doesn't matter. I'm in. All right, I guess if you don't know it. Say it again. When can't astronauts land on the moon? When can't, when can't astronauts eclipse? When can't? Maybe when? Morning, night, when dark. On Earth? Moon, sun. Spaceship. Are we on to anything? No. Is it a dumb one? Is it like a pun? Ship, spaceship, rocket, fuel, lost. <laughs> hint. It better be a good hint. What are the different stages that the moon goes through throughout the year? He literally said eclipse. Isn't that like a stage? When there's a full moon? When there's... Yeah. You just gave it away. Well, he's at guessing it also. He doesn't know it. Oh, oh I thought he we're was... We're both just... guessing it because he doesn't know yeah. you're... When usually it's you two... When it's full... Can't astronauts can't land on the moon when it's full? Get it because there's no space full. That is not even That's figure outable. Funny. Have a nice day.
Yeah, excellent. Have a nice All right, Tyson, what do you got for any kind of action that you've taken in your life or <clears throat> something that comes to mind when you think of the word action, a story of yours or whatever? So I actually could use two different ones, but I'm going to use the one that I had, that I originally had. So a few months ago, which it ties back into Freak Fit, it was just like a random time. I I originally wanted to use Trainer Eyes for Freak Fit. Remember at the beginning, I, I originally wanted to use Trainer Eyes, but then we realized it would just... It just would have been confusing. So it's just like a random time a few months ago. And we had this homeschooling group that we were in, Apogee. And I was thinking about Freak Fit, how, when I should start it. And then you're on the weekly call. And you tell me to come over here and tell them that this that this weekend on Saturday, we're, I'm going to be leading a free workout. So I went on there and I talked for maybe 30 seconds just saying that I'm going to be leading a free workout this Saturday. And it was just an opportunity that I took. And that's like the first stepping stones of how I started Freak Fit, like learning how to tr- train other kids. And, and then you and just showed up on Zoom every week and ran a full 60 minute workout where I didn't like run it and you helped me run it or I didn't like guide you through it. Like I just literally sat back. Of course, I talk my shit and crack my jokes here yeah. and there, but. I just sat there and you just ran the whole thing. But that one meeting where I just called you, put you on the spot on Zoom, you're like, uh, uh, yes, uh, I'm going to. Uh, it's going to be very fun. It's going to be fun. And we're going to work out this yeah. Saturday and it's going to be fun. And yeah. Yeah. And but, now for squat thrust, three squat thrust, you squat. No, I'm talking about when I, he was thrust. first telling about it. <laughs> not talking about the actual you squat. Yeah, the, 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 when he was so we could call that's it. definitely taking some action. And. One of for me, one of ours is was moving to California. That's what's gonna was a was a huge one. one. Just to be thinking, like we lived in New York, we had a house. You were in the middle of a school year, right? You were still in school. No, we oh we were like about to finish school. Yeah, but you still like a month. Still were in the middle of a school year, and school is finishing, and we just decided, you know what, we're gonna we're just gonna move. Just like literally within like a couple of days. We're moving to Once a deal came through to someone to buy the house, we didn't think anyone was going to buy the house. We thought it was going to be, I thought back then you just put a house on the market and it's there for like several months and eventually you sell. Literally like two or three days after we put it on the market, there's an offer, counter offer, we negotiate back and forth within like two, three days. We had a deal, closing, set up, ready. We said, screw Adios. it. Screw it. We're going to California. Why'd you go? I was thinking it was a, f- f- I was going to say it's going to be f- fun. <laughs> fun. What are you, what are you trying to get at, kid? <laughs> It's a kids show. It's a kids show. So I was going to say, f- have some fun. Have some fun. Screw it. Screw it. We're just going to do it. We're going to move. We, we put all of our stuff into storage in, in a storage facility in Brooklyn because they were going to ship it to us once we had a location. We didn't have anywhere to, for them to send it yet. Yeah, we, we, were- we literally left New York in our pickup truck with nowhere to live in California. And yeah. we, didn't, and we, we didn't were like even, in Nevada. And no, then- Utah. Utah. We're in Salt Lake oh, City, Utah. Utah. We just left working out at a gym in there. We took a boot camp class. You guys couldn't take it there. Just me and mommy took it. You guys didn't want to let kids take it. We took a boot camp class in someone's gym that I know. And we're leaving there and ready to drive. We had about 14 hours to get just to Cal. We were still just driving towards where around where we wanted to be in California, like Southern California. And we're on the road leaving Utah. We get the message, found your place because we were being very specific. It had to have a certain size backyard, certain type of location, certain type of neighborhood, had to have a pool, a jacuzzi and all that stuff. And they found it for us to rent. We ended up getting a gazebo too. And exciting. <laughs> and then we were so excited that we had it. We just drove the 14 hours straight through. We didn't even stop again from Utah. We just came straight through from Utah. We just kept, I just kept driving. Yeah, and, re- and I remember when we came in. I- Got here at three in the morning. We're like, this house, this big ass house. Yeah, we is really opened be ours. the door and it goes. And the, and the alarm, alarm went off. <laughs> yeah, they didn't give us. And they gave us, they left us keys there. All this other stuff. Access to the house in the middle of the night. And, and they, then the alarm for, they forgot to give us the alarm code, but they did this over the phone within hours. Like we were supposed to be another week before we like went there, filled out some paperwork to rent it out. They do a background. Said, listen, we're 14 hours away. We're driving. We're homeless, basically. What's it? And I just talked, we just talked to them on the phone and we convinced them. They gave us access to their house. We never met them. We didn't even pay a deposit yet. We paid not even a dime yet. And they gave us access I into their house. I actually never knew that. They gave us access. Maybe then right then we paid something over the, I don't even think so. We gave them a check when we, like a couple days later when we got here. They just gave us access to the house right off the bat. Like it was crazy. Yeah. So that that's talking about taking action. Just 
feeling, going with your gut, knowing this is what you're supposed to be doing, where you're supposed to be at this point, the next step, the next stage, and every everything you do in life is just a, a stepping stone to the next thing that you're going to be doing. So that's one of my main, main things for action. Also, yanking you guys out of school. We were on vacation a little over a year ago now in, in Death Valley, and we were... Your vacation was done for school. You had to go back to school after Thanksgiving break. We were like, you know what? We just discovered the sand dunes. We wanted to go out there again. So we were like calling up the school saying you're going to miss a couple of days of school after Thanksgiving break. And they're like giving us a hard time. They sent out, they were sending out letters saying your kids are, are uh, Tru- yeah. truancy, whatever yeah, that we even like, means. We're not coming back. We're like, you know what? I don't need to be explaining to some fat dude who doesn't believe in, in what I'm saying. He's running around wearing a mask, driving his car by himself. And I need to explain what I'm doing with my kids How the, and, and what we're doing is much more beneficial and educational than whatever you're going to be doing at school. We said, you know what? You're never going back to school. And we didn't go back to school. We bought you some laptops right for that trip. And we just never went back. We, we kind of knew that that was kind of where we were going to be headed. I know. I remember when we were leaving school, I was like, there's... There's a very slim chance. Oh, but no, the letter the letter came from something before. Right yeah. when we were getting ready to leave for the trip, the letter came. And I went to Best Buy. I'm like, in my head, I said, screw this. Remember, I came back with laptops for you guys. We said, screw this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Five, this is going to be fun. But you didn't even know for sure you were done in school. You just had an idea because we were kind of thinking about it and talking about it. But then once we were trying to extend that trip out there and they're like, oh, you can't do that. They're absent for too many times and they're whatever. After a certain amount of times, it's unacceptable. And then you have to redo the grade they're saying. Like, whatever, bro, we're done. And yeah. then, and we were like, we were so excited when we got our computers. But like before we left for Thanksgiving break, I'm like, I told my, my friends, I'm like, you might never see me again. Because we, we, we were getting that feeling that it was coming on beforehand and it happened. And it I haven't happened. seen any of my friends since then. Then, are they like technically your friends or are they just people that you know? There were people you were forced in a box in a room with to be trapped in as I mean, prisoners for eight hours a day. You were, they, were your, they were your yard mates out in the yard. Which you have some friends in prison. Obviously, like you make some alliances. School is technically a prison. No kidding. Like if you try to if you try to escape, you're gonna get in trouble. I remember they will hunt you down. They'll call the cops and grab you and bring you back inside those walls. I remember in our you're told when to do, what to do, how you have to do it, when to blink, when to breathe, when to eat, when to go out, when to go take a crap. Time. I remember that's actually you get you get your hour out in the yard. There's you have to bring your shank out there, defend yourself. (laughs) Little fights go out. Little Billy attacking you on the kickball game. Because you threw the ball too hard to hit him in the face. Oh, speaking of throwing a ball too hard, in our last school, I remember had a we had two basketballs. Snitches end up in ditches, man. We don't drop names around here. Oh, oopsie. We don't drop names oopsie. of schools and places and things. But, oh well, too late. So we had two basketballs. Like the one back in your Belinda? Yeah, just give now location. Why don't you give the address while you're at it, kid? Okay. Give their social security, social security number and blood type. So God. we had two one. basketballs and we were like debating on which one was better. So we had one and the other one, I just I just tossed it. And some kid by the handball courts was unfortunately the target. The victim. The victim. The victim? There's not <laughs> supposed to be victims in kickball. So I, I threw it and you every literally everyone heard it. It was a dunk. And yeah. The basketball. I heard it from inside my classroom because the basketball courts were right next to my classroom. So. Yeah. All right. Can I do a joke now? Like, we everyone. Let me do one more because I don't know like, the answers to any of these. So let's see if we can all figure out the one. answers together. There's. So, I'm skipping the first three because I don't even know what they are. I, I, I have no clue. I don't even know if they make sense. They yeah. Uh, so I don't even get it. Let's see. I don't even get it. All right. I don't. Know. What can fly without wings? Clouds. I don't, know if that a was, fly. I don't know if that was the answer, but are clouds flying? I guess. So that's stupid. No. I don't know what it was. All right. What has I'll search it up. What has a bed but never sleeps? I don't know this one either. Oh wait. Flowers. That's what I was gonna say. Roses or something, because it's in a bed, but are they sleeping? Are they not awake? Are they awake? We don't know. I just searched it up. I know what the answer is. Which one? Ten. That the one that you just said ten. What's alive? No, no, it has a bed but doesn't sleep. We said roses, flowers. So that's not the answer. I, I finally get to this. Shush. What has a bed but never sleep? You have to figure it out too. I know, I'm thinking. 
You can't gong yourself. And no, I you have to give the other, per- you have to give the other person the satisfaction. Midge, Mary. Midge, Mary. do not gong it. Or is it better? Give a, no, you got to give a hint. But I still. <laughs> this is funny. Midge, Midge did an explanation on this. A river. Ding ding ding. I think we. I think I did this one before. Oh, Sounds wait. familiar. I think I told that one before. A riverbed and never sleeps because the river's always moving. All right. How about this one? Now, I should save these. I'm going to look these up for another week. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ruin all my good ones. I, there were such I, good I, ones. I, I still have all right. We got to wrap this up, though. What do you got? Finish off. Okay. What do you call a snowman with a six pack? Strongman? Iceman? You're looking at the answer. You're not allowed. I'm not. I, I didn't look at the answer. Ice, ice. Icicle? That's so dumb. Rudolph, Frosty, Frosty the Snowman. It's an al- Porky the Pig. It's an al- abdominal snowman. Because yeah, that is so abdominal. dumb. That is so dumb. All right. Anyway, this is all about taking action. It's all about breaking the cycle. About having these kind of conversations, having this kind of fun, having some jokes. So, just speaking. So, what are you saying? So, what do you keep yelling that for? So, oh my God, don't turn that equalizer back on. Oh my God, that's like horrendous. So this is all about like how we rate ourselves every day, decaf on discipline, on energy, on confidence and action. And it all flows in together. If you think of the discipline and energy as the legs and the foundation, if you have discipline and energy, that's your foundation that gives you the confidence in that strong right hand. You have confidence in your strong right hand to then take action and you have confidence in those two hands, which leads to next week, which is going to be the Freak. freak being your freak self. So Rate yourself wow, in these areas. Have these type of conversations with your kids. Crack some jokes. Have some fun. Stop taking shit so seriously. But have deep, meaningful conversations on a regular basis with your kids. Break the freaking cycle of the bullshit, of the, the lack of having a positive male role model in your kids' lives and be the one. That's exactly what the Freak Father Alliance group coaching program is all about. It's a men's mentorship program in manhood, men's mastery in your mindset your muscles, your money, your mission, and your meaning. So you can get in the best shape of your life and stay there all year long. You can make more money than ever, make a bigger impact, and create time freedom for your family so you could do shit like this that we're doing here together. That's the Freak File Alliance. Put a comment below. I can give you all the information on getting involved in the program, men's mentorship program. Anything you want to tell them all before we sign off? Make sure you smash awesome. that subscribe button, click the notifications bell, and click the like button because we need more viewers and more subscribers. Other than like the three that we already have. So make sure you smash awesome. that subscribe button, click the notifications bell, and click that like button. Hey, Snow, I told you. Awesome. You are freaking awesome. No excuses. We are out. So let me break, break, break it all down for you I ain't never giving up, I ain't never giving up You know I'm take, take, taking that crown from you I ain't worried about you, I ain't never giving up So let me break, break, break it all down for you I ain't never giving up, I ain't never giving up You know I'm take, take, taking that crown from you